Hello, this is a demo of Kibana, which is a visualizer that sits on top of the Elasticsearch and Logstash stack. Quite often they call it ELK for Elasticsearch Logstash Kibana. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you some of the visualizations that come with Kibana. Um, I've just spun up Kibana on my local host, and on it I've got a couple of um, sample data files that come with Kibana. So we're going to start off by looking at server logs, um, which is not perhaps the most interesting of um, topics, but it's probably one of the more common uses. So if we look at the main, this is the start discover page, which is your how to look at the data. Um, we've got some server logs here, which are hits on the Elasticsearch server from various places over, over time, and you've got the agent and so on. So there's a lot of data here. We've just got the last um, 15 minutes showing now, um, but we can change that so it's the last day, so last 24 hours, uh, refresh, and you can see from there, you've got a graph of frequency over time as a start, and then you've got all of the data logs underneath. So you can see we, what we're looking at here is large amounts of data um, based on server access. Um, this is not a particularly large amount of data, I think this is also generated, but it's just a, a, a sort of standard client data set. And I'm going to show you now a bit of the visualization stuff that sits on top of that by clicking on the visualize tab. And the all of the st st stored visualizations are here in the visualizations tab. Um, so we can look at, for example, goals, which is one of the simple things you might look at with the server log logs, which is how many hits have you had. So here we have 202 unique visitors over the last 24 hours. Um, we can look over the last seven days and see how many hits there's been over the last seven days. Scroll down. Um, I've actually, I've got my font size pretty big for the purposes of the video, by the way. It probably wouldn't require quite so much scrolling if you had a sensible font size. Um, other visualizations we can look at, um, they've got response and annotation here for logs. So if we do logs, search response, response codes over time with annotations. And what this is, is the server response codes. So um, 404 is blue, 503 is black, and red stars are security errors from the Elasticsearch server. So this is a pretty useful visualization if you're looking at um, server logs because you can see the frequency of attacks and you can see uh, how many people hitting your site are actually getting a 404. Um, other useful visualizations that come built in with this, we can look at um, uh, logs, visitors by OS. So we can see... Um, over the last seven days, what operating systems have been visiting the Elasticsearch site. Uh, and that gives you a, a demonstration of the pie chart. And we can also look uh, at geodata. So if we look again at the logs data, um, we can look at unique visitors by country, which is going to give us a region map of um, the globe with highlighting by country based upon the number of unique visitors. These are all um, built-in examples that you get if you install the sample data when you install Logstash, Kibana and Elastic. So this is all standard sample data. Um, I'm going to go a bit off piece now and we're going to look at a different data set. Um, we're going to do a... well show you how you create a visualization. So we'll go to visualize and we're going to create new visualization and what we're going to do is we're going to make a bar chart and the data we're going to use is a data set of the complete works of Shakespeare because that's what I happen to have loaded in advance um, and what we're going to find out from this visualization is given the complete works of Shakespeare who's got the most lines in Shakespeare's place so uh, for my access we've got count of lines which is the obvious thing to do and the buckets we've got is all documents and that tells us that across all of Shakespeare we've got 
111,396 lines, which is not actually hugely useful. What we need to do is add some buckets, um, which will enable us to look within that, right? So for a start, we want to know the speakers. So we're going to add a bucket on the x-axis, and that is going to be based on a term. And the field that's going to be based on is the field speaker.keyword, which is one of the characteristics that we've got within our Shakespeare data set. We're ordering it by count, um, descending. We don't want to just look at the top five speakers. Let's look at the, you know, the top 25 speakers. Um, and that doesn't look very different because I haven't pressed go. I'm going to press go, press go. Boop, ba, ba. Now when we scroll down, you can see the number of lines by speaker across the whole of Shakespeare. And I don't know about you, but I would be a bit surprised to find that the biggest part in Shakespeare is Gloucester. Have you ever heard of, heard of Gloucester? I'm not sure about that. Then there's Hamlet. I think you've probably heard of Hamlet. And it goes down like that. Um, when I did this to begin with, I was a little bit surprised about the Gloucester. So I looked at it again, and it turns out there's more going on. So what we can do is filter again. So we can add split series and we're going to have an aggregation again on terms and the field we're going to use is um, play name dot keyword count and again we'll look at more than the top five plays let's look at the top ten plays and what this is going to do is it's going to split within these by the name of the play so if we press play, assuming that I've got it right, and go back to our graph, ah, we can see what plays they're in. And you see that Hamlet is a big part in one play, Hamlet, but Gloucester is a reasonably large part in five different plays. So whilst Gloucester is a serious character and obviously of interest, it's not perhaps what you would expect to see. Um, Hopefully this just spinning up a quick instance of Kibana and showing you a couple of the visualisations has given you some idea of the power of this as a tool for looking at um, how these things fit together. Uh, okay, demo over.